know me. My name is Shannon Stone. I'm the Deputy Chief of Midway. Uh, I just want to say something really briefly. Uh, I've had the opportunity in the last four years to work with Chief Brewer. He and I actually go way back. I used to work with him a lot when he was a lieutenant, 15 plus 15 years ago, 20 years ago. Even longer uh, than that. Longer than that, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I had a unique opportunity to come to work in Midway, um, and one of the first guys I reached out to was Chief Brewer. Uh, he was our senior battalion chief, and he's been a, a huge help in uh, helping us continue to develop midway to where we're at the last four years. He and I have had a lot of kind of discussions this past year about retiring. Uh, I kind of went, I did go through the same process that he was going through, so I kind of had an understanding of what kind of decision it was to leave an organization after 25 years. And I told him then, I told him a month ago, and I'll tell him now that I'd be happy no matter what he did. He decided to stay because he's such a great help and so dependable and so reliable that I wanted him to stay, but if he found something else that he wanted to do outside of the fire service, which most of the firemen know, that's kind of difficult for us to do because that, that kind of fills our purpose, you know, uh, aside from our family. Uh, but if he had found something outside of the fire department that was super important to him, then he won the lottery twice. 
because most firemen will tell you when they get a job at the fire department, we do think it's the best job in the world and it's like we won the lottery. If you find something that he's passionate about, such as this gym, and living life after that, then he won it twice. And the last time I talked to him a couple of weeks ago, I could tell that he, had, he, had, he was good with his decision and he was comfortable and uh, I'm super excited for him. I'm gonna miss you because uh, you were kind of my go-to guy and helped me get acclimated in the organization, but I'm happy for you. And I just want to say that, congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, a uh, quick story on Chief Stone, and I, I've told him this before. Uh, when I was in EMT school, uh, in, in, I want to say it was probably October, November, maybe September of 99, was one of my uh, things were to get, get hired at Midway was to complete EMT on my own. Uh, and I did that, and he was one of the proctors or one of the guys that led uh, one of the classes back in uh, September of 1998. Uh, he was one of the instructors back at the Milton Fire Department, if anybody knows where that little place was back in those days. And that was the first time that I met uh, Chief Stone. He probably don't remember it, but uh, I definitely remember it. Uh, and uh, it's cool how that many years ago, 25 years ago, and now we get to finish it up on the same 25 years too. So uh, a lot of cool things has happened over the 25 years, and that's just one of them. So I've known him for a long time, and this man right here. Speaking of this, I'll bring it up since he's here. If it wasn't for this man right here and Jason Martino, back in at a Christmas party at Baptist Hospital in that same, I want to say 1998, about that same time. Uh, he was a volunteer at Midway Fire Department. Martino was just hired at the city of Pensacola and all they did that whole night was how cool it is to be in the fire service. How cool it is to be in the fire service. I was a bartender at Flounders at that time. And uh, I'm like, you know what? I never even thought about being a firefighter. Went up to Midway, I think that next Monday, and then here we are 25 years later. Uh, and him being here too, too today is uh, another super cool 25 years experience also. So thank you for doing all you did over the years. Thank, thank you. you a lot. Thank you. So uh, if you don't know, this is Bob Murphy. He's my boss. Uh, he's one of the fire commissioners in Midway. So Bob, you are the one Larry has to thank for 25 years of knocking down five digits. <laughs> so, low pay, long hours. So it's been fun. Perfect. It's been it has been. Fun. But meeting some hellacious people. Yeah, yeah. Um, but does it surprise you that we met him on a Saturday and Monday he was there signing up? <laughs> does that surprise anyone? Yeah. So thank you, Commissioner, for coming out. Um, I met Larry many years ago, standing in front of a fire station. I do know a little bit of his history. Uh, you know, first fire he went to was a, a tragic, was a fire fatality on Shannon Road. And I'm sure that kind of set the tone for what his career was going to look like. One of my first um, shifts working at Midway, him and I were working together on the ladder truck. Two lieutenants working together. Just the two of us at uh, Abercrombie. We had a working fire. And we were first in and we were having to kind of do it all. And uh, I remember a Rottweiler being under the porch of this mobile home that was burning. We didn't see the Rottweiler until it was too late. And uh, that, that, that just made it a little bit funner. Yeah. We had. Uh, <laughs> but he had a lot of uh, his career. In 25 years, you know, we've had 9 11. We prepared for hazmat and Ebola. Um, Hurricane Ivan, Hurricane Dennis. Um, our department's had many deployments for different, different disasters and hurricanes. We've had tanker trucks overturned plane crashes, um, the gamut. And I remember vividly how many extrications we used to have in the late 90s and early 2000s. And it wasn't a week went by that him and the crew too, Chandler and Brewer working together, weren't cutting somebody out of a car out here on the highway. So a lot of accomplishments and a lot of inspiration. Um, Sydney and Brooks, thank y'all for being here. Um, it's fortunate to watch both of them grow up around the firehouse was able to coach Sydney in soccer many years ago. Um, and of course, they're off doing adulting as they do. And uh, your dad's very proud of you and what y'all are doing. He, as we asked about y'all, he, he says nothing but great things. And he knows y'all are going to be successful, which is one of the reasons I think that let him 
cut ties with the fire department because I know that y'all are going to be okay as adults. He doesn't have to work longer to take care of it. So, congratulations to both of you. On behalf of Commissioner Murphy and the rest of the board and Midway Fire District, I present to you this Battalion Chief Larry Brewer, October 4th, 1999 to April 1st, 2024. In gratitude for 25 years of loyal dedication, service to citizens of Midway and the firefighters, job well done. Thank you. Thank you to all the guys. Uh, I've had a lot of experience with a lot of these guys, 22 years, 23 years, 20 years. Uh, and then we got a lot of new guys also that's just been here one, two, five years. Uh, kind of talking to the guys. Uh, we got a lot of experienced guys that's going to be moving out over these next couple of years. Uh, I like to say out with the old, in with the new. A lot of us guys are going to be moving out. And all y'all guys are just going to be moving up, taking our place. So enjoy the next 25 years of y'all's career. Enjoy every minute. Have fun with each other. Enjoy your family. And uh, thank you, every one of y'all, for I told the guys last night, these last five years have probably been the best five of all. Uh, but all 25 have been really good. There hasn't been a time where I haven't enjoyed running calls, hanging out with the guys. It's been fun, and I look forward to uh, the next 25 years. So thank you, everyone, for being here. And uh, let's have some fun for the next 25. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Thanks for knowing you 25 years, too. Thank you, sir. Anyway. 